I want to show you how quiet this PC really is. At the moment, it is running Cyberpunk. GPU is fully loaded, CPU is loaded. As you can see, the temperatures are okay. Quite low, actually. Listen to this. You can barely tell that the PC is even running. Did you like the idea of having such a silent PC? Then keep watching and I will show you which parts I used to build it. By the way, I linked them in the description below. And what kind of performance you should expect with this PC in the most popular modern games. But first, every new PC needs a Windows license. That is where this video's sponsor comes in. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Such a low noise, even under full load, can be achieved only if you do not chip out on the coolers, fans and power supply. So, most of the credit for making this silent PC possible goes to Be Quiet, the company that makes high-quality, low-noise PC components for over 20 years. Let's start with the case. Conveniently, Be Quiet Pure Base 500FX case comes with four fans pre-installed and hooked up to the fan hub that also has RGB capabilities. It makes the building process much easier, because most wires are already plugged in and managed for you. All you have to do is just connect the power to it, plug in one of the cables into a fan connector on the motherboard, and another one into the RGB connector, nice and easy. For the motherboard, I chose the Asus Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2, as I am going for the all-black plus RGB theme with this build. Additionally, it is a relatively affordable option that features the latest Wi-Fi 6E, which enables a convenient wireless internet connection. I am pairing it with a Ryzen 5 5600X processor. I know that AMD released the new 7600X already, but it costs $300 and you have to get an expensive DDR5 memory to go with it. While 5600X can be purchased for $200 or less, and it offers an excellent level of performance by the 2022 standards, even in fast-paced competitive games. Of course, to make it silent, we are cooling it with a Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 FX Air CPU cooler. Its matte black finish goes well with our other black parts. Considering how good the RGB lights look in the rest of the build, I think the best memory kit for this PC is the G-Skill Trident Z RGB. You can go for either 3200 or 3600 kit. It matters little which one you choose because both have a similar price as well as performance. For storage, I am using WD Blue SN570 NVMe SSD. I have a 1TB variant here because the games are taking up a lot of storage these days. To ensure that this PC can run most games on Ultra at 1080p and some even at 1440p, I am going with an RTX 3060 graphics card. It is a big boy, but remember, we need all parts to have good cooling to make sure that this PC stays quiet even when pushed to the max. That is why I am going with the Asus Tough Gaming RTX 3060. It has a big heatsink and good quality fans. The last, but not least, is the Be Quiet Dark Power 12 750 watt power supply. Power supplies also have a fan which can get loud. But not this one, it will stay quiet, as you have seen at the start of this video. Now let's test some games. Let's start with Cyberpunk 2077. This PC is not quite powerful enough to provide a smooth gaming experience at native 1440p in this game, but you can still expect to get above 30 FPS. Keep in mind that we are talking about high quality preset here. 
If you want to keep this quality, you might want to turn on DLSS balanced mode. Then the game actually becomes very playable in my experience. By that I mean close to 60 FPS average. If you are using a 1080p monitor, then you will be able to run Cyberpunk on high quality preset at above 50 FPS, which is smooth enough in my opinion for this game. Red Dead Redemption at 1440p on favor quality preset is actually quite enjoyable because you can get 53 FPS average. Of course, it dips down to about 40 to 45 in snowy areas, but even in large towns you can expect above 50 FPS. Red Dead Redemption 2 is still a very demanding game, so you have to make some quality sacrifices to run it at 1440p. In this case I enabled DLSS quality mode. Now the game runs at 63 FPS average. Nice. The 1080p performance on favor quality preset is pretty good as well. 69 FPS average. Now let's move on to competitive titles. Apex Legends, everything on high, 1440p. You can expect around 100 FPS, although there are drops to below 100 from time to time. Still, I found the gameplay to be smooth and enjoyable. Of course, if you want a competitive advantage, you will have to lower those settings to get the higher frame rate. If we drop the resolution down to 1080p using the same quality settings, then you can expect to have performance firmly above 100 FPS. Next up, Warzone. 1440p, all the settings are turned up to the maximum. We are seeing around 80 FPS, but of course that will heavily depend on the map you are playing. 1080p resolution is more suitable for this game if you don't want to reduce the quality settings. Expect around 100 FPS and above at this resolution. Less demanding games, such as League of Legends for example, are extremely easy to run for this system. You can crank up the resolution to 1440p and above and still have hundreds of FPS. This right here is 1440p performance, with everything set to max settings. For my fellow Rainbow Six Siege players can expect above 100 FPS at 1440p, everything maxed out, with ultra textures enabled. If you are planning to play this game on a 1080p monitor, then this PC will be a perfect pair for a very high refresh rate monitor. As you can see, you can easily expect above 200 FPS in this title. In the past, I underestimated the need for a very quiet PC in my life. For sure, Be Quiet Forever changed how I will be approaching my personal PC builds in the future. If you enjoyed this content, then you know what to do. Also, consider using my Amazon affiliate links in the description below if you want to build this silent PC for yourself. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.